What's going on everybody, Jada Black here. I am back with another video. Shout out to everybody that's tuning in. If you don't know, I'm not doing live streams on this channel. You should be subscribed to JDB Media ENT. If you are not subscribed and you haven't hit the notification bell, you just ain't gonna see me live because I am not keeping my live streams up. I'm not keeping them up. Once I go live, that is it. I may post a couple of live stream clips but for the most part, the live streams ain't staying up. So if I never see you in my chat again, I know that pretty much you didn't subscribe. In this video, I wanna talk about when selling dreams goes wrong. I, I mentioned this in my, my latest stream. I think I mentioned this a couple times. I even did a whole video about LaShawn McCoy in this situation. But there was an updated, there was some updates from that particular situation uh, recently. His ex, Alicia Corden, she did, a, I believe, a press conference, and she's talking about there's other women from his past who he has abused. They are coming forward all in an effort to basically defame this guy, ruin his career, and take food out of his son's mouth because Alicia Corden decided that she was not going to leave his home and he had been trying to get her out for a whole year. But randomly, that place was robbed and she was beaten in the face and she then left. And, and ever since then, she's been on a crusade to pin it on him. But trust me, trust and believe if he had anything to do with it, people would have found out by now because it's hard for brothers to keep secrets. I mean, especially stuff like this. We don't know who else that this Delisha Corden knows. We don't. We don't know what other people she deals with. Her ex and her, uh, basically, I don't know if it's, I don't know if he's the father of both her kids, but her ex is Marcus Vick. And we know Marcus Vick, you know, can be out there. He's had his issues. But she wants to make it seem like the only other person she may have had issues with is LaShawn McCoy. And she had jewelry of his that he had paid for that he wanted back. That jewelry was taken. And the reason why I know it wasn't LaShawn because if LaShawn is stupid enough to get that jewelry back and take it back to the jeweler, he's caught, he's done. Now again, something may come out where he is involved in, in, in uh, her, her robbery. You know, she's claiming that, you know, he turned off the security um, foot, no, the security feed. But again, we have to look at the situation for what it is. He called the police on her. He wanted her out of his house. Now, I'm, I'm getting to the point, so just stay with me. I'm getting to the point. Originally, he did not want to put hands on her. He did not want her to effectively ruin his career. That was what was on the police call that he made to the police when she would not leave his house. That was a year ago. So you mean to tell me within the next year that he plot and planned this and nobody found out? Nobody found out. As if this female doesn't have enemies. Her friends don't have enemies. Rich the Kid got robbed in his girlfriend's, I believe his girlfriend's house, because his girlfriend and her sister lived together, I believe. Was that random? Was that a setup? Because for those guys to know that he's there and to know where to go, and, and how did they get in the house? They didn't break in. Somebody had to open the door, but nobody's investigating the sister or the uh, girlfriend who was hit in the face one time with a gun, with the, with the, the uh, with a gun. So I'm gonna say this, I'm getting there. Whenever you're dealing with a female who feels like she is a dime a dozen, who feels like, no, not dime a dozen, she, she feels like she is a diamond amongst rhinestones, okay? She feels like, you know, she's one of the best 
looking females, one of the most attractive females out there. She feels like looks wise, she's better than a lot of other women. She feels like she has a lot of potential, a lot to give a man that she's with. But she ended up getting with LaShawn who sold her a dream. He really did, because she went from Marcus Vick to him. And I believe she also may have gotten with Floyd Mayweather for a brief moment. And he sold her a dream. Because I believe LaShawn just wanted to sleep with her, but I think he got bored with her, and I think she realized that. She realized that all those dreams and everything he was saying he was gonna give her, she realized it was BS. He was not looking to be a stepfather to her children. And when she realized that, she, ref she, she refused to leave the house because she was sold a dream that he was gonna give her the lifestyle that she always wanted. She's living in a, a nice, beautiful house in, in Georgia. And she was a girlfriend of an NFL running back. But that dream pretty much was shattered or was going to be shattered. And she was going to do everything she possibly could to not let that happen. And in doing so, this situation erupts. This situation where her getting robbed and beaten at gunpoint now we don't even know we don't even know we still don't even know who and what did it this could have been something that she did to herself it happens women lie about situations that happen to them a lot a lot of these women are narcissistic a lot of these women are crazy on the surface level they seem perfect but on the inside they're broken women like Delisha Corden, I feel, is a bit broken. You have to be to sit in a man's house for a year who wants you gone. And the police won't do nothing. The courts won't do nothing. They're just allowing this woman to stay there. Now, again, the Sean has to take accountability for selling this woman a dream, for making it seem like he was gonna marry her and take care of her, which is what he probably told her. Dude, some of these guys will say anything to sleep with a woman. They will say and do anything to get into a relationship. He was even accepting of her having kids already when they got together. Even though he's going through issues with his baby's mother, he still moved this woman and her children in his house to show her that he was committed to that relationship. Now, again, these are my thoughts. I'm not saying this is actually what's going on, but these are my thoughts. I think a lot of you brothers have got to stop selling these women dreams because they're gonna start making it, they're gonna start taking you more and more seriously and they're not gonna just let you off the hook. They're not just gonna walk away. Uh, nowadays, a lot of females like Delisha have no accountability. There's no links that they won't go in order to pay you back for what they feel like you ruin in their lives. And I feel like she believes that this guy ruined her life, ruined the vision of what she wanted her life to be. She went from one relationship with a, with a former NFL player to a relationship with a current NFL player. And it failed and she felt like she was being kicked to the curb. You're not gonna kick her to the curb. She still feels like she's one of the most attractive women out there and all these dudes want her. But LaShawn don't want you. Even though he may have made it seem like that he wanted you, that he wanted a relationship with you, but it seems that, you know, it was all just fun and games. And what you have nowadays, man, you sell women dreams, they're going to flip on you. I'm telling you. There's a guy by the name of Jack Thriller. He does interviews on This Is 50 YouTube channel. And he was also he was doing it on the website, I believe, first. And then he, then he started doing it on YouTube. He has his own show, right? There is an IG model. As a matter of fact, I did a video and she was on the thumbnail. <laughs> and 
when I made that video, I was basically talking about her. Now, th again, this video is pretty much the same title, but that I made that video what earlier this year. But anyway, she was his co-host, and then all of a sudden she stopped being on his show. The next thing you know, she's doing an interview, and then randomly she just starts blasting him, calling him names, trying to. Um, basically di disrespect him and emasculate him and, and call him names and talk crap about him and she was just so emotional she was so emotional about Jack Thriller and why that situation on the show didn't work now, she didn't go into really grave details but she was really hurt I guess that he had moved on and found a new co-host that that situation didn't work in my mind I'm listening to this I'm saying to myself you know he must be Co not course he must have talked her into doing the show and he probably it probably was short term but he said it would be long term he may have slept with her and then had on the show for a little bit and then you know basically um, kicked her off the show because to be that emotional you would think that she lost out on a big payday but I don't think she was really getting paid much to be on the show she was basically getting attention maybe more followers on Instagram or whatever. But for her to be that emotional, it's almost like she caught feelings for this guy, but he didn't catch feelings for her. I think he was feeling another chick over her. Maybe she thought she was gonna be his girlfriend, you know? <laughs> but I, it, must be the, it must be the personality, <laughs> you know? But, but Jack Thriller cool though. And, and she, was so, she was so emotional about this it, you could just tell that she she had a it was a she almost like she felt the sense of rejection like he had rejected her and chose somebody else over her and a lot of females just do not like the feeling of rejection they don't like to feel like a man has overlooked them you know i've seen it on youtube you have females who you curve and you kick to the curb because you realize that they they aren't very good for your platform <clears throat> when you realize that somebody isn't good for you, you got to kick them to the curb. Because it's better than having them around and them making things awkward, you know? And back to LaShawn, in his situation, that is a very awkward situation because she has children, I believe, staying with her there. Maybe not the whole time, maybe certain points of the year they're living with her but she should do better even though he may have fibbed on certain things maybe you feel like he lied to you he told you he would do things for you and never did it so you just was protesting by staying in his house and now you've reduced yourself to doing these stupid press conferences bringing his exes his bitter exes women that he just smashed and dashed after a couple of months who are hurt so they're coming forward to say he abused me what sense does that make how does that make you look good that's gonna that's gonna make any man who may potentially want to get with you either not get with you or keep you at a distance as in not having you live in their house and i had people tell me that she owns a business, that she makes her own money. Why she can't live in her own house? Why wouldn't she leave his house? Now she's reduced herself to doing these, these stupid press conferences for attention to try to ruin this man's reputation and career. But again, LaShawn did choose her. I just think LaShawn is bad at picking women. When you come from black, when you come from um, environments like you know most black communities in America are, you don't really have much to choose from. So when you get to a situation where attractive women are hitting you up and want to date you and, and you have more of an access, a bigger dating pool, you take advantage of it. A lot of these guys don't know how to deal with that. They don't know how to deal with the newfound attention that they get. They don't know how to deal with the type of women who are around them. A lot of these women, man, something's not right with them. Something's wrong with them. They're opportunists, man. They're willing to take any opportunity you give them and try to make the most of it. Even if it means ruining your reputation, Sean. 
and some of these other guys. I made videos about these. That's why I made videos about these athletes because I feel like every scenario you can learn something from it, whether you're an athlete or not. You know? And it also shows you how looks do matter to a lot of men and how it really shouldn't at the end of the day. You can choose you a decent looking girl who have really good qualities. You can fix everything else. I mean, look at look at some of these female celebrities, you know, they fix themselves via, via other means. I'm not saying that you should. I mean, it, like I've seen women just all they do is hit the gym and exercise to get bigger butts or to tone up. But some of these women take drastic measures and it makes them look even worse. But you got to stop selling these women dreams. A lot of these women have obsessive personalities addictive personalities and once you put something in their head they're gonna feel like you owe them 